And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some go get it ephemerals. So we're playing a new ephemeral deck. This was another viewer submitted deck. That's why we had all these decks today are all uh, viewer submitted donation decks. This one is an ephemeral deck um, that has a new KDA card in it. Go get it. Now there isn't like a certain combo with go get it and any of these ephemerals, like any particular combo that we're trying to strive for. It's really just going to be a, a pretty good value card that whenever things are going wrong or whenever we need it in the late game, um, it's going to be there to be able to like to be able to um, answer a removal spell and you know rec recall an ally, get an additional one that's ephemeral, and uh, then we can play the other one. Um, we're splitting up our, our champions. We got two Zed, two Thresh, two Hecarim. Those are going to be our champions. Um, and, you know, we have, like, the Blighted Caretaker, Curse Keeper combo in here. Just one Shark Chariot. They said that as, as they've been playing the, the deck, that the Shark Chariots have been, um, you know, playing too many Shark Chariots has, uh, hasn't been too good of, like, they'll get stuck in hand and things like that. So, uh, they, they said just, just one Shark Chariot. Of course, Oblivious Islander to reduce some costs, get stuff out earlier. Um, and Stalking Shadows in here being a, a nice card. So, we'll see how this does. This kind of has, like, a... Um, you know, lots of different stuff. Basically, two ofs across the board. We have some threes, but lots lots of twos. We have a, a good amount of variety in here, um, which is pretty sweet. So here we go. So we're going to go play some Go Get It Ephemerals. We'll play five games in ranked, and let's see how Zed, Hecarim, and Thresh do to get together. All right, we have Lux and Taric. It's a pretty cool combination. Lux and Taric. Alright, I like Warden's Prey to start with. Shadow Assassin, not bad. Thresh, not bad. Um, not sure what we're going to do with Go Get It, but, you know, let's keep it. We're going to Go Get It. Maybe do that, like, with Shadow Assassin. What does he want from me? Yeah, you can turn it into a draw two plus gain power much life, like whatever Shadow Assassin blocks. That could be pretty cool. It's also something we can play on turn four if we don't use our our mana here and bank the spell mana. Silent as death. They cannot hide. Eighteen. They're almost dead. This is a good combo here with Go Get It and Death Mark. So that would cost eight total mana. I wanna go Maybe I try to set that up. I guess I guess I do have two Go Get It's, so I could just cast a Go Get It here, and then then we have Thresh, then Hecarim. You cannot escape. And I could set that up for the for the other Go Get It we can have with Death Mark. Uh, I guess this is risky for all the fight spells. But then again, they wouldn't have fight spell to take down Thrash or Hecarim or our second go get it. Shadow. The dark beckons. Cool. So basically that was gain five life, draw two cards. Not bad, not bad. What do you like? Each life a rare jewel. I was hoping they were going to pass to me. I will play my part. And before playing Tarek. Stand resolute. Ooh. Shatter them. That's pretty rough. Spell shield that. That hurts with my death mark, for sure. Just leave me alone! No, yeah, I don't have any cheap pings to get rid of it. That's that's quite strong. So my plan is Blighted Caretaker. So if I go Blighted Caretaker and kill the Shadow Assassin, let's see. 
That would be three mana. So we'd have five left. So I would have go get it left. It's basically, you know, do we want to play any of these other things first? You know, and, and be able to kill other stuff instead. I think I just lead with the Blighted Caretaker. Okay. Judgment's an option. I think I'd still attack with the Blighted Caretaker, even if, it, even if there is a Judgment. Okay, which there was. All right, so I can spend five mana and get a new Hecarim. It's either that or like play out some things that are better at blocking. That hurts quite a bit, man. What a turn for them. They've had some, some pretty great turns. Even just getting that 5-5 that five, five tough that I couldn't just whittle down with other blockers. You know, getting that with the Remembrance. Yeah, that's too bad. I definitely wanted the Thresh to level up too. This is 15 damage, I think. Put me to one. Things have been going quite well for them. Can we recover from this? I guess I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I definitely wanted another Blighted Caretaker. Yeah, I don't think they have any direct damage. I'm not really scared of that. And if they don't have any overwhelm, you know, like we can we can block these things with these if they don't have overwhelm. Death. Obviously, they could play something that's overwhelm. Like you know, like there's there's lots of ways our opponents can win this, and they have a million cards. We should too. That something's gonna kill me. They cannot hide. So I have to have Darkwater Scourge Deathmark now. I was planning on attacking with Hecarim and being able to give the plus zero, plus three, you know, like level up the Hecarim and be able to try to keep it alive with the plus zero, plus three. Um, but now I, I just don't have the man to do that. I, with playing the Shadow Assassin, I need to play Darkwater Scourge Deathmark. Now they just, all they need is a fight spell. I wish I could keep my Twin Disciplines available. I guess that, ends. no, it doesn't matter if it's a fight spell, because fight spell. Let's rid of that anyway. Well, not looking great. Uh, twin disciplines that to keep it alive or like so we don't take the overwhelm damage oh yeah i guess i could have nopified that no more holding back. we can nopify the next one so if i glimpse beyond that 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 should just this should just fizzle so they shouldn't be able to get a final spark
This will be four things dying for Thrash. Unyielding. It's too late for me. They don't take any damage. Blocking with the Dark Water Scourge doesn't heal our Nexus. My best case, like, best thing to do would be, like, Blighted Caretaker and also play Hecarim. But yeah, I probably have to keep Mana for Deny and Notify. So maybe I don't get to do that. Which means we have to take it to, like, another attack. So which basically means I have to wait till next turn to play Hecarim. Next turn we could potentially... No, we can't put another Hecarim. We'd put in a Zed off of Thresh. Yeah, we could attack with the Scourge. Speak. I say. And try to pump up the Scourge to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hush. Steel. I can't deny or nopify Hush. Well, if they attack out now, it's game. Because of that hush. Stand resolute. They keep telling me GGs <laughs> over and over. Um, so we're at four out of six. So I can play Hecarim. And Hecarim can block the 4-5, Thresh can block the 3-2. These other three I can block with these three. We're fighting. We're trying real hard. I'll protect you. Okay, I guess that's going to be game because this is, this is going to recast it. So yeah, that's, that's finally going to be game. Because then that, that's going to make another final spark. Charge! We tried pretty hard. Alright, looks like we got um, some elites. Probably with harrowing. Fresh catch. So I could play the Warden's Prey and attack with it and get a new thing in hand. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit, though. Maybe I play that uh, and get something that dies for Thresh. Maybe I play it and have a good blocker. Maybe I just play it, you know, play it, use it as a blocker, and then Glimpse Beyond. They have the turn two Battlesmith, so that'll be uh, kind of tough. Oh, really, Zed? I couldn't have you last turn? I mean, they would have had the 4-4 to block it, but... Safeguard our citizens. See? Blocker. Whoa. They're attacking with Battlesmith. Just leave me alone! So we could, you know, we could use the Twin Disciplines to go up there, but I think, I think I'm going to keep the Twin Disciplines for next turn with the Zed. So I think I want to just play, like, Zed and Thresh next turn and then have Twin Disciplines available. So I'm going to just block like this and nothing else. Do not fear the Shrouded Pan. The reason to have my 2 on block the 4-4 would be that they don't have a good a good block on my Zed with the 4-4. Um, but then the reason not to do that is to have more things to be able to have die with uh, Thresh in play. Meet them head on!
Yeah, so we can play Caustic Cask now and make Thresh 3 out of 6. I'm going to wait till next turn, though, to have Caustic Cask again as a blocker. Well, we drew into our champions. It'd be a 1-2 blocker. We could trade with Bannerman. I see it. Let's Garen strike. Could have gone Glimpse Beyond, but I just wanted to play the Hecarim. Three out of six. Sorry, Thresh. Thresh is getting sacrificed to keep the Garen from blocking these things. They do have the mana for Judgment still, even with the Stony, su the stony Suppressor, but how they're blocking does not really represent um, Judgment. I'm sorry, Thresh. But you did good. You kept Zed and Hecarim alive. You did good. And they're at one life? <laughs> That's not very much. But we're keeping the Garen from leveling up, at least for now. Yeah, so basically, like, how they would have Judgment is just if they had a second Garen in hand, right? Because Garen's champion spell is Judgment. So that's that's always something you have to watch out for with having a Garen in play. My life for the order. Four out of seven. My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Totally victory. Lead our charge. Now and forever. I guess I have to go get it the 2 1. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go get it this 2 1. So that costs 5 mana, 4 mana left. So I, I guess I can cast this thing first. Okay. That actually works also. I could just play you as an ephemeral. You're the ephemeral copy, right? Yes, I can play you the ephemeral copy. That thing will be big enough to block. Not dead. Oh, heck. We're gonna have to open attack, of course. You can attack. The problem with just attacking, I mean, I know I'm setting up to judgment, but the problem with just attacking with Shadow Assassin is that if they play single combat or concerned strike and just kill that. Okay. Alright, so they didn't play either of those, so I'll just pass priority. There we go. I, you know, I could have used Twin Disciplines and go get it and done some crazy stuff with that. Also, but we won't have to. All right, GGs. Okay. That was scary, wasn't it? That was a pretty scary game. Um, I like this. I like these first three cards. 
Now the twin disciplines. Take it or leave, I could take it or leave it. I will I'm playing Callista Elise with Targon. I will leave it. Alright, that's a good card. Of course, my plan is having Ephemeral Hecarim and Deathmark the Hecarim. Let's see what's out there. So Soul Shepherd will make the Hecarim a 6-6. Six, six. So instead of Hecarim being a 6-mana 5-5, five, five, it's going to be a 5-mana 6-6. Six, six. Never mind, make that four mana. If I didn't play the Soul Shepherd this turn, I mean, might as well play it. I just I won't be able to play it next. I won't be able to attack with it and use Death Mark. I mean, if I just didn't play the Soul Shepherd, I could have. Crazy. Just pass. Yeah, they do that. Sure is dark, eh? Hey, what's that? Man overboard. Stygian onlooker is pretty strong. I haven't had four different options very often. That's that's something that's really rare. Owls are good. Those owls are good. The dark beckons. There can be no justice. Only revenge. This is gonna make these three twos. So we do get to challenge and kill the Callista. damage and we're, we're gonna need these like blighted caretakers on defense uh, to stop some fearsome attackers four they're playing spiders they could have the three mana three two spider I guess I just pass here with just one Worried about the 3 2 spider, but then you know, I played into this. But they had already played one Risen Myths, so I thought it was just more likely that they had Frenzied Skitter than, um, or you know, like Stalking Shadows, like some way to find a Frenzied Skitter than another Risen Myths. So basically, this means that I can either like go to two, die to like Pell Cascade, I, think I gotta play it safer. Because like, I could go to two and like save my Hecarim like, by giving the Hecarim the plus zero plus three. I think we have to play it safe. How much mana are we going to have? Eight mana? So enough for two Warden's Praise and two of these. Not two Curse Keepers. 
Oh, well, I guess I have the mana to just play a Warden's Prey right now. I could have just played a Curse Keeper right now. Come closer. I don't fight. Alright, GG's. Got there, two and one. Curse Keeper still awesome. I don't like this Karma Lux. After we died to Lux previously. I don't like seeing Karma Lux. Let's just keep one Curse Keeper for right now. Okay, we do have the Blighted Caretaker now for the Curse Keeper. Not Remembrance. And give it life. It's not exactly what I was expecting, Not Remembrance. Um, also, just wasn't expecting that at all, obviously. We could have Blighted Caretaker here. I don't think it's worth attack plus twin disciplines. I don't think that's really worth it. Well, now I wish I would have done that first. Within the flows of magic. Magic. Everyone's a garden. Hopefully, find another blighted caretaker. I uh, don't really want to death mark the shark chariot. We'd rather death mark other things. Yeah, let's just get another blighted caretaker in here. Ideally, we'd play Shark Chariot first, and then we would Blighted Caretaker the Shark Chariot. Ideally. But that means that we lose one of our... Uh, you know, like, I don't have room for one of the two saplings. So we are going to... Blighted Caretaker on this thing. Sorry, Warren Spray. Um, I did death mark the game that we lost. I did death mark Dark Water Scourge, yes. And then it would have kept me alive, but then they hushed my Dark Water Scourge afterwards for the life steal. So in case in case they had like the barrier life steal card, I want to challenge these and have these first because they would have used uh, barrier life steal. It would have, you know, heal from 20 still. Virtue guides me. I'll have to use Deathmark next turn. Yeah, this game's not going to be over anytime soon with that Radiant Guardian. This is going to be a longer game. They're willing to pass over to me and not attack and do nothing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, probably need to death mark the Lux. Preferably, I'd be able. I, I wish I had a glimpse beyond, where I could just sacrifice whatever the Radiant Guardian blocks. You know, like a challenge to the Radiant Guard and then sacrifice. I can't really stomp that though. Come, come this way. The grove follows. This is my choice. I was hoping that they would play some spell, you know, like maybe like a, 
you know, a barrier or something so we have some more information on what to do. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess with this, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I should have put the, yeah, never mind. I, I should have put the Radiant Guardian on the other end. Yeah, you're, you're all right. That would have forced them to play something first. Yeah, tough choice between Death Mark, Twin Disciplines. I think I would rather have the Deny be able to protect the Death Mark. Because there's, there's just so many different options of ways they could blow up no matter which way I went. If I tried, if I tried Death Mark, they single combat. Like, there's just so many different things they could do. But yes, yeah, so I, I should have put the Radiant Guardian at the end this time. Because um, then that would have forced their hand and they would have had to tap mana first and then I could have responded and uh, life would have been better in retrospect. Okay. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still my saplings. So first two mana for Lux. Second two mana. Uh, right, because the first thing they did was heal their Nexus for four. And then the damage happened. So if I would have put the Radiant Guardian at the end, the damage would have happened first. They would have gone down to zero before they would have uh, healed their Nexus for four. So they would have had to do something to stay alive. I don't, I, I really want to have go get it, deny, and death mark, right? Like, I want to have go get it, and then death mark, and then have deny to protect the death mark. I can't play all those things. By the light. That egg, did it move? The dark beckons. Uh, previously. All right, they're still passing. Should probably spend some more of this mana. Next turn, we're looking at 12 mana. 12, I can kind of do everything. It's going to be a close game. So I'm not planning on using Go Get It. Basically having Twin Disciplines and Deny. I guess it makes sense to deny that. That's a blocker and also a luck spell. Like I don't. I guess this isn't lethal. So you can still have single combat. Can't death mark the lux yet. Have to attack first. So it's basically single combat's the only thing that saves them. My plan is, uh, you know, both of these two spells over here. I, I hope they don't have single combat. My plan is to kill them with twin disciplines with the Shadow Assassin. Don't know if that plan's gonna work though. I guess I just go for it. So I'm, I'm thinking, like, maybe do I can I death mark here first, pass priority, then they single combat and kill the Shark Chariot so that the Lux doesn't get the death mark. And then after that, then I can Twin Discipline. So basically, if they have single combat, that would be my best play. But if they don't have single combat, you know, obviously they just wouldn't play anything. And then that would just happen and damage would happen and I would probably lose. So I guess I just have to go for it. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm showing my hand. If they do have single combat, I'm showing them their my hand with the 4-2, right? So, I don't know. It's a, it's a difficult line. Ah, they had it. They did have it. I wonder... 
I wonder how that would have played out. I really wonder how that would have played out if I would have just, um, you know, done the first one and passed priority and then seen. But, like, the thing is, if they don't have single combat, I'm not killing them. That's difficult. Just let me go to my turn. Sure. That chrome's pretty big. Alright, love seeing that. Because they only have three mana, they can't have Concerted Strike. Go get it, Ephemerals. Oh, it doesn't work? The copy's gonna be stunned? No. Oh, the copy's gonna be stunned? Ah. I can play this Onslaught of Shadows. Give me two five twos. I wish I didn't play the Curse Keeper. I wish I would have just passed. Um, if I if I would have, yeah, I guess I didn't really realize that. If I would have realized that, um, and it makes sense. Yeah, it does say an exact copy. And then I could have had Curse Keeper sacrifice this and then play New Hecarim. Or sorry, Glimpse Beyond. I could have Glimpse Beyond sacrifice this and play New Hecarim. Let's do it. Cause yeah, we got the sharks too. The sharks are gonna be six ones. They can again have a single combat and stay alive, but they just they just had single combat to stay alive. They can't have another one to stay alive, right? Or I guess they can. All right. Well, the good news is we got rid of Karma. I guess that's the good news. How do they keep having single combat to stay alive every turn? Where there is life, there is hope. So I could play Thresh first and get one out of six. I'm not sure if Thresh is still going to level up. Maybe I'll just do this and... Uh, I guess I'll play Thrash. Hello. 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 Yeah, so we shuffled the Hecarim back in by casting that Onslaught of Shadows. That's what I was worried about with playing it. I love the Blighted Caretaker. That was probably the best draw. And having that with Deny, pretty nice. Um, if I play Soul Shepherd, I don't have room for Soul Shepherd first. Soul Shepherd does make all these things larger, but I don't have room. Unless I play Soul Shepherd and then I just kill the Escaped Abomination. But no. Nah. Everyone's a god. So yeah, that's why I kind of played Soul Shepherd first. So they go block, block, they go to, ugh, they go to one. I mean, I can't, I can't make the lifesteal last with bringing these things out. I could, I could attack like this and then have lifesteal last, and then I just don't get, I don't get the shark chariots. But I guess I could do that. I just don't get the sharks. 
But if I if I attack the other way, conviction. um, so I'm down to five. At least Karma's dead again. I always forget how useless Deny is against Karma. <laughs> Pretty useless. At least they couldn't keep their, their Karma alive. All right, they have even more single combats. We'd be able to nopify. Face me. But they're saplings. Down to nine. A misstep. So they could just be holding Radiant Guardian. Maybe I should be. I say maybe I should just be going to two. I should have just gone to two. Oh Justice my gosh. Double Radiant served. Guardian. Uh, I don't know if Thresh wins the game. I don't think so. I wish I would have gone down to two and not blocked. So we got like a 50 50 shot whether we're putting in Hecarim or Zed. I was basically thinking do I want to like go get it on the Soul Shepherd? Right, like I could, I could go get the Soul Shepherd. And then put another Soul Shepherd into play so that they get plus two, plus two. All the ephemeral things. Alright, Hecarim was the, was the one that we really wanted. Can't even counter that. Back to back? It's like they're playing with the whole collection and they just get to choose, pick and choose of like, oh, you need a single combat to stay alive? Here we go. We need a single combat to stay alive? Okay, here we go. Oh, we have 10 mana. We can play two Radiant Guardians? All right, here we go. Oh, we'll be the best card here back to back because they can't they can't counter that, deny it, can't stop it. Yeah, we'll just go get a Hecarim and put Hecarim back in our hand, I guess. Not really a better option. Hecarim should be a 10-7, I believe. Yeah, it should be a 10-7, the, the ephemeral Hecarim that we put in, so it will kill the Radiant Guardian. Does it cost zero this round or just cost zero all the time? I guess we'll find out. Okay, it only cost zero that round. We can do this. It probably wasn't a reason for me not to play it. Should have just played it. I didn't think that I was going to be able to spend all this mana anyway. But I guess I, I am supposed to have it for a blocker for Radiant Guardian and not let them get the attack in. Water changes, but An easy breaks. attack. Let's get non-ephemeral. I'm down to four. What form will the waters take? I'm get another spell. Silent as death. 
See, that's where Shadow Assassin should be. A 5-3. Now we're talking. get to notify something. Here we go. Stay back. Get him, Hecarim. Oh. Sharp Sight kills the Hecarim. Never back down from what you believe. Ugh. Sharp Sight? Master. Come on. <laughs> Oh man, I thought I was like, all right, so they won't have a, you know, not gonna have a pump spell. Dang. Sharp sight. That was again the only card that saved him. It was like single combat would not have. Ugh. Can't believe we lost that one. Can't believe we lost this. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Whatever I death mark, they just attack and kill me. After play, you know, like they they just play this final spark and then kill me. I only have two blockers. They have four attackers. They still get to attack even if I death mark. Oh well, GGs. I'm going to mulligan the Twin Disciplines and keep the rest of these. I like having the attack token on turn 3. As far as the Curse Keeper, Blight of Caretaker combo goes. Now... It's a little awkward. Because if I do this on the Oblivious Islander... Like, if I, if I go Oblivious Islander on the, the Curse Keeper, then I don't get... Okay, or I would have... <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to play this now so I can block that Mountain Goat. They don't get Mountain Goat value. Lunari, rise. So many Curse Keepers. Oh man, that Shark Chariot's good too. So I kind of want to take the Islander and then just make all these Curse Keepers ephemeral, right? And be able to have that. But then, like, the Shark Chariot's actually pretty good, too. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to save Blighted Caretaker for next turn. You cannot hold us down. No, it, they were not at half of the halfway through their deck for that first, um, that first time we played the single combat. No, they were like twelve cards through the deck, something like that. There was, they were like twelve to fourteen cards. They weren't halfway through the deck yet. Good, Diana. Usually is, Diana's. Uh, quite the card. Everyone 
sons of God. So we'll have two sharks coming back. Okay, yeah, this Nocturne Diana deck hard carried you in the gauntlet this week. Yeah, this deck's awesome. This deck's really powerful. It's tricky to play um, because you don't just because uh, like of, of like when to sequence everything. It's tricky to play, but it is awesome. All right, yeah, no good Nocturne there. So now my saplings don't kill stuff. Um, I'm going to challenge. I don't really want to challenge the mountain goats and give them more gems. So I guess I challenge these. So, you know, I, I have the, the sharks coming back, and so didn't think they would be blocking the sharks no matter what. It's looking pretty bad for me. I needed I needed that uh, Blighted Caretaker to take some things down. I guess I had to Blighted Caretaker on turn three, I guess. So Pill Cascade kills me. Just pretty likely they have a Pill Cascade. So pretty likely we're dead. So it looked like look like taking the sharks. This is one that just, you know, like the decisions I made backfired. Ooh, they did not have that to kill me. Okay. So, let's see. I could deny that. Yeah, I guess we just deny that. Other option would be pick my Blighted Caretaker back up to be able to have a Blighted Caretaker to, so that next turn I could go Curse Keeper, Caretaker, and try to kill some more things, but that would keep them with the Diana. Yeah, I can't, I can't block Nocturne. I wish I could have. Still dead. So yeah, the shark chariot was a trap. I should have should have gone for the the one mana two ones to be able to unload my hand faster and get some more blockers for those that that previous turn. Um, and I also just I needed to go. Uh, basically, everything we had was kind of a, a trap. Basically, I just need to play. I need to. Not to. I need to play my Curse Keeper on turn two, and play my Blight Caretaker on turn three, and just ignore the other stuff that was, all the, the shiny lights and everything else, of all the other cool little things I had. I didn't ignore it. You know, I I played, uh, Oblivious Islander first and all that kind of stuff. I need to just, forget everything else. Just do that, Curse Keeper into Blight Caretaker, and I would have been in a better position. Yeah, so yeah, so that worked out. That worked out pretty well, though. I was, I was definitely happy with our deck. Hecarim looked great. Um, Go get it looked pretty good. I thought Go get it did look good. Um, this was another deck. Yeah, this one was a, a difficult one to pilot. Right, we had tons of decisions all the time. This was not an easy deck to pilot. That's for sure. Who knows? Like it, you know, different decisions. Maybe I could have got some other wins. Um, you know, who knows? But this was uh, pretty good. You know, like ephemeral. The ephemerals uh, aren't always that strong. It's hard to find a good ephemeral deck, but I think this one worked out really well. I, I'm glad that, like, I think that it was good that we didn't focus too hard on the shark chariots, um, you know, and uh, like the death marks were really good. Even like Shadow Assassin, like actually played pretty well, like just drawing, getting that extra card draw in there. So I liked the list. Good list. Thanks, Dark Dragoon. Good, good donation deck here. All right, uh, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Go Get It Ephemerals, and I'll see you for the next video.